I can see from I can see that it's not me who has the question, and at the same time, I have the question, which is that sometimes I feel like a thief. I, I'm, I have this thought like existence, everything I've got, I've received as a reflected existence, I can never repay. And I feel the shame and gratitude and uh, uh, I don't know how to release it. Hmm. When you say I, what are you, what are you referring to? Because if, if I is this universal being, if I yes. is separate from the universe, yes, then what is it that the universe needs to repay to itself? Right. But if I is this imaginary personal character, then there is an imaginary sense of repayment, an imaginary, an imaginary sense of a need to repay. But what is an imaginary sense of needing to repay? It's imaginary. And yes. the repayment is going to be as imaginary as the imaginary sense of the need to repay which is as imaginary as the belief that I am a separate personal character. So it's all imagination, right? So the question is, what is this I yeah. that I'm assuming, believing myself to be? Is If it's a belief, then I am not a belief. I perceive a belief. I believe in a belief. <laughs> I choose the belief, belief that I'm a duck. But I'm not a duck. I don't believe appears to me. If I'm a body, well, the body is something that I perceive. I perceive bodily sensations. I perceive images in the mirror. I perceive images, you know, of myself as 12-year-old, 20-year-old, whatever. I am not the images that I perceive. So I am not the body that I perceive. If I'm an imaginary character, an imaginary me, that's a conception. And the conception is perceived. I perceive that I am an imaginary character and I I am not that which I conceive. I am not an, an image or a structure or a philosophical being that I conceive. So I am not anything which appears. I am the reality which perceives that. Whatever it is which perceives this, this this perceiving element. And this perceiving element, there is no evidence that it's contained in the bedroom or it's contained in the house or it's contained in the kitchen or it's contained in the... the it, it, it's because it's formless. So if it's formless, then how separate is it from the universe? And what is the universe? The universe as everything and nothing? Or the universe as form? The universe as form is subordinate to the perceiving aspect because the perceiving aspect perceives form. There is a hierarchy from the formless to the form. So the universe as that which is and cannot not be means it's formless. All forms refer to that. How separate is the reality which perceives which we refer to as I or consciousness or awareness from the universe, which is the formless reality of all forms. It's one and the same. So when you refer to yourself as I, mm -hmm. I as the one reality, 
then what need is there for that one reality to repay anything from itself to itself? Right? So be clear in the midst of your question and your feeling that you need to repay something to the universe about what your true self is. It may be clear to you or be revealed to you that in fact your true self is nothing else but the universe. And that there is no need to repay. The mother loves her children without expecting anything. It's just the love flowing. But the mother is expecting for her children to repay her. Mm. Not so sure about where she's at, where she's coming from. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay, Brian. Nice to see you. Thank you much. Cool. Okay. Lovely to be with you all. Thank you all. Diane, lovely to see you. And George, Holger. Brian, Philomine, Uli, uh, Vitze, Johanna, Charles, Rokus, Holly, Holly, Suda, Alvaro, come sta Alvaro? Mark, Ellen, Frank, uh, Jackie, mm, Kunel. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you, Magdi. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs>